I just feel so odd saying this, but that promo alone makes me less excited about Punk versus Drew. I'm a champion. All right, let's talk CM Punk, Drew McIntyre. Okay. Then. I thought this promo was really not good at all. I thought it was, to quote MJF, mid. Mm. And the reason, I think the, the main reason is, I mean, firstly, before we before you go on a rant, I think Drew was the best on the mic. He was, mm-hmm. yeah. So I, I don't think it was pro, uh, Punk's best showing. I do, however, think everyone was set up to fail because they kicked off Raw with this promo. Mm-hmm. And they had Seth Rollins coming out, and I'm sorry, him prancing around in that outfit. Like, get <laughs> serious. Like, there's got to be moments when you're serious. And he's prancing around with his stupid referee's top on. <laughs> See, I don't mind that. I, jo- I think but he's kind of joking away, and, and to me, I don't feel like setting the, the right tone. But he immediately tells the crowd, because there's been so much talk about the crowd not being good this week, mm, mm. in Minnesota, I think it was. And then being flat. But he kicked off the promo by going, they are not going to touch. You're not yeah. going to see any fighting. Mm. Otherwise, the match of SummerSlam is cancelled. Mm. And I don't mind that kind of stuff. It reminded me of a, what Vince said in the build-up to... Tyson Austin. No, it was it was um, SummerSlam 98, Highway oh. to Hell. Yeah. And it was Taker Austin. Austin yeah. But it was all about he needed to protect his main event because right. that's what draws the money. He's a promoter. Mm. And that was a big thing. And I loved that. And I thought it was really real. Um, but they were still brawl and stuff. And it was just that he didn't want anyone kind of getting injured because he wanted to protect the main event. So I don't mind that kind of stuff. But I just think for Seth to come out and... and just squash any excitement right up top by saying nothing's going to happen here, basically. So in order for them to win the crowd back, the promo needed to be absolutely exceptional. That's exactly it, yeah. And, that's, that and was it, my thought. And sadly, it wasn't. Mm. Uh, there were some good lines in it, but it, mm. I, I didn't think it was that strong. I do think Punk sadly played <laughs> to the, I've got heart, and there was a generic baby face. Yeah, I've got uh, the people. Yeah, yeah, but but unfortunately, on that night, I don't think he really did because he waited. That's the yeah. when he thought the crowd were going to start chanting CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk, right. and they didn't. They didn't. So it just had a bit of an awkward air to it, and I think they were kind of set up to fail. But then the promo wasn't strong enough to to lift the crowd back up. Mm. So that's I sort of yeah I agree with everything you said basically. I. I I went, okay, they're not allowed to touch each other, so we're going to get no physicality, but that's okay because they're going to go for it on the mic, and Mm. all three of them are good on the mic. So Mm. what they are going to do, because it's the go-home show and we're not going to get anyone injured here, we're no physicality, we're just going to go for it on the mic and we're going to get some bombs. And we just didn't. Mm. We just didn't get any bombs from anyone. And, yeah, I I think... See, here's where (laughs) where we get the double turn because I, I saw a lot of stuff on like the f- on Twitter before I'd seen this segment, oh, segment yeah. um, of people going this is why punk is a joke like uh, people hammering punk right and I thought wow what's happened am I going to be sort of vindicated here <laughs> what's gone on and I was like saving all I was screenshotting it all ready for oh, this week's God podcast sake. I was like this is what people mean this is not just me and yeah. I was ready and I was sat there wringing my hands waiting <laughs> And then I thought, I watched it, and and I just thought, the problem is, the crowd are just not there. No. Like, the crowd are just not making any noise. And credit to Drew, Drew sort of realised it and went, I can't even go to the supermarket without hearing people chant CM Punk. Everywhere I go, people are chanting. Yeah. Come on, yeah. guys. People yeah. are chanting yeah. CM Punk. So he sort of basically went to the crowd and went, you've got to start chanting CM Punk now because that's what this whole segment is relying on. Mm. So he got them to do it a bit and then they went flat again. And then CM Punk sort of made the mistake of, he did that bit where he looks at, you know, some some wrestlers do that. The Rock does it a lot where he just won't say anything for a second. He'll just look around and wait for the crowd to start chanting. Sometimes Seth will just look at them, put his arms out, and they'll start going, oh, ah. And Punk went for that. 
He, and there was about yeah. 30 seconds of Punk looking around with a slight grin on his face, like, yeah, I don't even have to do anything, look, and you will. And then he looked to the other side, and then he sort of looked towards the camera, and he smirked, and it was like a little bit of a wink, and a, they're going to start, and they just didn't start chanting. So it was awkward. And then he went, see, I haven't even been here for 10 years, and all of the been doing is chanting my name. And I was going, oh, but, but they're not, they're not, they're not chanting it. But I just, <laughs> bizarrely, and, and you're going to think this is really weird me saying this, I actually felt a bit sorry for him because I, because I thought, <sighs> you know what, I, for whatever anyone's opinion is on punk, and, you know, I've said my piece thousands of times, normally the crowd do just chant CM Punk. And they have been chanting it for years yeah. when he's yeah. not been there. And normally wherever he goes, they will start. Or if Drew just turns up in the ring, they'll start chanting it. For whatever reason, this particular crowd just didn't. So I think it sort of would have worked if they would have all just chanted CM Punk. But they just didn't. So I felt like, oh, no, it's kind of fallen flat. But And then he went, he had to go for the... The, the baby face stuff, but I've got the people and I've got the, and yeah. it all kind of fell apart. I'm not as big apart. as you, Drew, I'm not, but I've got heart. Yeah, I yeah. But, yeah I think, but I felt sorry for them, really. I, yeah, I've, I felt sorry for all of them. I just think, and but doesn't that show the little nuances really matter? The fact that I think they took the wind out of the sails of the crowd early on by going, nothing's going to happen here, by Maybe. the way. Maybe. You know, so I think then ex um, expectations for the promo itself were through the roof because we were like, okay, yeah. this is the face-off. This yeah. is everything we've been looking forward to. But actually, it just, I don't know, it sucked the wind out of the crowd. I, I thought um, I, th I thought Drew did really good stuff, although he said he wants Punk's heart to stop. It's like, calm down, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a bit much. The, the bracelet thing... <sighs> That could have been better. I, I thought it, it's become a bit ridiculous. I, I don't know. I just it, it reminded me of Jean Pierre Lafitte stealing Bret Hart's favorite jacket in 1995, <laughs> <laughs> or, or when Million Dollar Corporation stole the Undertaker's urn like once a month Classic. in 1995. Turn it to a chain as well. Yes, for, 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 karma, chain. for karma. Also. What I slightly did, like, Seth's one of those people, I just love Seth Rollins, right? He's, he's one of my goats. He's like, he can almost do nothing wrong for me. But storyline-wise with this, kind of what I didn't like was Seth just saying to us, I'll do what I want as a referee. If I want to count, I'll count. If, you know, disqualification, we'll see. Yeah. It was like, oh, no, we sort of expect that, but I actually don't want to hear that from you. And also, that puts all the focus on Rollins mm. because fans now are going to be, What's oh, okay, so if, you know, if Punk hits a go to sleep early on and and they're all watching Seth, is he going to count properly? Yeah. What's he going to do? Is he just going to ignore it? And then, and then that brings me around to the argument of, okay, actually, for their first match, maybe putting Rollins in the mix was not a wise idea because I feel I feel so odd saying this but that promo alone makes me less excited about Punk versus Drew okay and, and I'm not saying they won't knock it out of the park I'm sure it'll it be will brilliant. still be amazing I'm sure it'll yeah. be brilliant yeah but that it was not a good night so I didn't I didn't have this take uh, but now I see what you guys are saying and I, I, I'm starting to see where you're coming from. I, the, you're definitely right about the crowd not being really into it. Mm. Um, and Drew was phenomenal on, on, on the mic. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I realised Seth said that. I don't think phenomenal. I okay, think he was good. A hard, mm, I think yes, he was good. Phenomenal mm -hmm. is a exaggeration, yes. But he was good. He was good. Um, I didn't realise Seth said that about how he, he doesn't know if he's going to be impartial or not. Yeah, or, he went yeah. to disqualifications. We'll see. I'll do whatever I want. So that yeah. just makes all of them... Did it just, everybody's a hypocrite in this storyline, isn't it? Everybody, Every point that they complain about Punk, if you're going to act like that and be like, I mean, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be in, you know, I'm impartial in this, I'm going to do whatever I want. And where's the stakes? Yeah. Because we want to see who can win this fight that, between two guys that absolutely hate, hate each, each other. other. Yeah. Mm. Who's going to win? Well, it's like... Well, it almost doesn't matter because the wind's probably going to be tarred anyway. Yeah. Because which we know will Seth, will probably happen. But when he yeah. just says it, oh, it's this is the way it's going to be. It's like oh, so sort of. I do. I mean, we'll see how it plays out, and you know, our Sunday reaction show this weekend will be really interesting because it will be you know we'll be tired. We'll have been up all night watching the show, <laughs> but it will it'll be like immediate 
reactions. So yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be excellent. It'll but be a I, banger. I'm sure it will be, but it's just, I really feel like they took some of the fire out of it. Seth Rollins, like, cackling after every word. Ha, 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 ha. Reminds me of Hardcore Holly. Um, <laughs> How you like me now? <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, still extremely hyped for the match. It was just sadly an off. Yeah. An it wasn't a great promo. Um, go home promo for. And the problem I, just don't, go- I don't think they should have opened the show with it if there was no. going to be no physicality. Mm. The problem with go home shows as well is you always think it's going to be like this massive like ramp up, like this is when you really turn up the heat. But also it's like we don't want to get anyone injured on this show. Yeah. Mm. So like you don't want your sort especially, of main event. Especially Punk. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially Punk. Yeah. I'm a champion. 